it's ringing. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Put the phone down. <laughs> we're going to start off with some questions from some uh, some Rock fans that have sent them in via social media. Mighty ho. Um, Stephen Connolly wants to know. And that guy. Uh, when will we see the final part of the Cornetto trilogy? And two years. Two years? Stephen Connolly. Um, I don't owe you anything, mate, but I will tell you the answer to this. We're hoping to start writing it this year. Me and Edgar and Nick are, um, are making plans. We're clearing some space because we really would like to make it next year. That's an ideal situation. So with a bit of luck, about two years. And um, are you allowed to give away anything of what it might be about? We are allowed, but we won't. Oh, okay. I can tell you one thing. I can give you a little teaser. Uh, that Edgar and me, an idea we came up with the other day. It's about the main thrust of it is about a dog, like an old English sheepdog that grows to the size of like a dinosaur. Wow. I'm sorry. What's your name? But it's Graham Willie. And what's his name? Uh, that's the writer Clive Gollings. Okay, cool. I'm Paul. Paul. Erin White has asked. Uh, oh, not a real name. Not Whitey. No, I think it is a real name. It's, well, according to Facebook, it's a real name. Right. Let's trust Facebook. Groom. Have you guys become even closer friends after doing some movies together, or are you finding that you're getting quite distant at all? Uh, let me field this. Uh, no, we are as close. We've always been this close. Uh, we never really tire of one another. Uh, we're happy to hang out. We don't live together now, obviously, and uh, we don't see each other that much. I think people think we live in like one giant house and all go, go about on little vespers like the monkeys. That's not the case. That's not the case. Uh, <laughs> so whenever we get a chance to, to hang out, it's always a real treat. It's all we, the, the only reason we work now is so we can hang out with each other because we live in different parts of London, as Nick said. So, um, but I, I mean, I, I've, I've only ever liked him more since I met um, Nick. What again? Yeah. Nick. That is a fake. <laughs> Watley Hobbs, what is she, the ghost of a mansion? <laughs> uh, quite possibly. Um, but the ghost has asked, she has an irrational fear of the film E.T. Um, she says, is, uh, do either of you have a film that you won't watch under any circumstances because it, it really scares you? Well, Amy Watley Hobbs, there is a film called Patrick, which is, I think it's an Australian or maybe Kiwi movie. It's old. It's about a, a pit truck. A what? Pit truck. Let's call it pit truck. We call it pit truck if it was from New Zealand. Uh, uh, about a quadriplegic guy who is in a coma who can uh, affect change with his mind. It's terrifying. And whenever that's on, I have to think twice about watching it because it freaks me out. Mm. How about you, Nick? Is there anything at all you No, I'm a 40-year-old man. I know it's just a film. So you just turn it off. <laughs> Don't bother me. The news. Oh, the news. Yeah. I know what you're saying. You said you cried after Eat, Pray, Love. Shut up. How did you do? How did you do that? How did you go invisible? Oh, uh, it's it's a camouflage response. Well, like Predator. Exactly. Although I can only do it while I'm holding my breath. But you can do it anytime you want. Anytime. <laughs> um, Sarah Edwards says that Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz are among some of the films that she's probably watched a bit too many times. Mm -hmm. um, what are your most watched films and that you will never get tired of seeing? League of Their Own. League of Their Own is a big tearjerker for me, yeah. Um, I'm going to say Close Encounters. I never get tired of watching Close Encounters. Me neither. Um, the f uh, again, what's that? Jaws. I never Empire get tired Strikes of Back. Jaws. Empire. Taxi Driver. Raiders. Sleeper, Woody Allen, Sleeper, Annie Hall. A lot of Woody Annie Allen. Annie Hall, film. yeah. Uh, this is Spinal Tap. Mm. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Monty Python and the Life of Brian. Yeah. Um, What's that? Uh, Jerry Maguire. I like to watch Jerry Maguire if I'm in the mood for a rom-com or you know something with a bit of uh, bit of emotion. I think Andre a, for me. Andre about the seals. I'm a big fan of seals in film. Karina, Karina. <sighs> Deja vu. Um, Jumping Jack Flash, Whoopi Goldberg. The Elephant Boy. This is a prequel. The prequel. No one knows about it. Um, well, oh, it's the sequel to the Elephant Baby, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. There is an alien in the kitchenette making bagels and coffee. Did you want tea? No, I don't want tea. Uh, Russell Kingdon asked. Um, Russell Kingdom? It's Kingdon. Kingdon. Oh, Kingdon, sorry. 
I thought um, it was a whole area that was asking this question. <laughs> your careers have really taken off in the past decade or so, from Space on BBC Two to working with Steven Spielberg and Peter Jackson. Sure. Um, how do you manage to stay the same without letting all the press and your fan adoration get to you and warp your personality? Are you still just too lazy <coughs> to go for a beer, uh, or is that a thing of the past? It was on Channel 4, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Where's Ruth? She went back to the RV. <laughs> of course! <laughs> he can read minds! Okay, we're gonna have a quick fire round. <laughs> Right. Um, obviously, just a personal answer comes into your head. Sure. Um, first tape or vinyl you bought? Japan, quiet life. Uh, the cult, love. Okay. First VHS? In Raiders yeah. of the Lost Ark. Hills have eyes. Um, first gig or concert you attended? Echo and the Bunnymen, 1985, plus the Leisure Centre. Uh, the Farm, Kentish Town and Country Club. And your favourite DVD box set? What would you say? <laughs> well, I recently just watched the the whole Alien quadrilogy, so that's a made up word. Yeah, that's well, like I mean, it's Amy Watley it. Hobbs or something. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna the the Alien four set. <laughs> um, at the Superman today. Today, okay. Superman, you know what I mean. Tomorrow it will change. Superman, the back, the steel box set is lovely. It's, very, it's got it's got all the, the Donna versions on. It's a nice and film, isn't it? Supermen. Supermen. There's a few of them. Think about it, Amy Watley Hobbs. Okay, we're just a couple of regular guys walking down the street with a small cowboy. All right, Clive? 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 Can you name a member of the Beatles? John Lennon. Paul, Paul McCartney. McCartney. Ringo Starr right. and George Andy Aaron. Wings. Um, can you name a chain of French patisseries? Paul. Valerie. Fantastic. I see this Which is our now. next film. Oh. Valerie. Oh, it's Paul's wife. And who was Great. the famous footballer who cried on the pitch in oh, Gaza! Gaza, Paul! It's all Paul. The answer's all Paul. It's Paul. It's Paul. It's, Paul. it's, Paul. it's just quit. There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> quit. It's your face. And that's all we have for you. Thank, thank you, you HMV. Uh, thank you. Please give our regards to Amy Watley Hobbs. We will. We will. <laughs> thank you. Uh, what, uh, what are you doing? Just watch. Oh! <laughs>